Welcome back to the 12th episode of the Life Left Witch podcast and today we have a cool guest and some cool questions to ask. Before we get into the show, we'd like to let you know. If you have any guests that you'd like to see on the show, please tell us and we'll try and get them on. But they like it or not. No, actually, it turns out we have to get permission from the guests themselves if they want to be on the show or not. Really? So many rules. Anyway, introduce the guest and tell them your aims for this year. Okay, so my aim for the, by the end of this year is hopefully to get one guest from each subject. We've had a lot of non-teaching staff, so so far we've only had English, Maths and Science teachers. So here we have another guest from the CCM department. Please welcome the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Cripps. I like the way you, you picked all the, the important subjects first and I get left on the bottom of the list. So there's English, <laughs> Maths, Science, check, they're all done. It's important ones left and then we get to me. At least, you know, well, yeah, at I least made it higher that. than languages or, or uh, some of the other subjects there history. as well. So, you beat yeah, history. History and geography, I suppose, as well. Yeah. Yeah, well. We have four questions for you, as you know, in, that we told you in advance. Mm-hmm. Then we have one question, which is a mystery to you. Yeah. Then you have a question for us, the I reverse do. question, which is a mystery to us. Which is a riddle and a mystery and a question all in one. It's a oh, riddle wrapped in an enigma. I feel like that's going to yeah, be Yeah, there's going to be a challenge later on. <laughs> Go on, hit me with the first one. What are we talking about? Okay, question <clears throat> one. <clears throat> as you know, as I've, you've taught me for the majority of this year, uh-huh. um, I know that you have a bit of a love for Star Wars. Yeah, well, I think it's a love-hate relationship with Star <laughs> Wars now. It's become over the years and things like that. They've uh, they've changed lots of things about it, and you know we fear change, <laughs> so um, it's not appreciated. But I think fundamentally, I still I still like Star Wars, but it's done a lot to disappoint me over the years. I mean, um, was it Last Jedi? No, utterly, th- utterly dreadful. I, I number can't eight. sit through that. I'll go through a, a whole rant. I think I watched it once. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah. Number eight probably was you, the worst. One. Do either of you like Star Wars at all? Yeah, yeah, I love Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer Marvel, but I do like Star Wars. Mm-hmm. I think the problem is that Disney got confused with the idea of Star Wars and Marvel, and. By the time that they got to sort of Last Jedi, they were like, oh, let's put a load of jokes in like we do with Marvel movies. <laughs> so, like, it starts off with them, like, prank calling a Star Destroyer. It was like, I don't know, it was like some sort of a teen frat boy Star Wars movie where the, <laughs> we'll prank her, we'll prank her Star Destroyer first, you know. Mm. Star Wars always had jokes in it, but more naturalistically than that and in your face and things like that. Yeah, whereas um, Marvel is the but, opposite. <laughs> yeah. Um, I really like The Mandalorian. Um, I didn't think it was narratively spectacular or anything like that or story-wise spectacular, but it looked really good. Um, and it was nice little... like little uh, modern western, which is what Star Wars had always sort of set out to be. And the uh, final scene, no spoilers. Um, that was that was just sort of brilliant. That was little incredible. <laughs> that was a good one. Though um, I'm trying not to say any spoilers, but the CGI was a bit. Um... Well, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they, they've come a long way with that as well. Mm. Um, CGI has come a long way. They're they're the first ones to use the uh, the sort of live screens that Industrial Light and Magic made. So it's like a green screen, but with a video and stuff like that. So I thought that was really impressive, some of the stuff that they've done with that um, yeah. series and everything as well. The question to do with the Star Wars is who, overall, the whole franchise, mm-hmm. who is your favourite character? Um, Villain, I'm gonna, hero. I'm going to have to go Vader. Um, although I don't really like his representation um, as a child. Um, and the pod race and all that was dreadful. He got a bit whingy in the later years when they kept adding the various yes! into movies. That was dreadful. Um, obviously, he couldn't really fight because Dave Prowse lied and said that he could sword fight, but then he couldn't, which is why the early fight scenes look dreadful. 
But overall, James Earl Jones, you know, the voice and everything and the the costume and that and, you know, that little sort of moments and things he's had over the years and various things. I'd have to go with Vader overall. Yeah. What about you guys? Yoda. 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 Just like him. <laughs> um, That's hard for me. Um, I think that's where they got confused on what's called as well. You think, like, in Last Jedi was like... You know how Yoda, when they first meet him in Return of the uh, Empire Strikes Back, sorry, and he's all like, oh, and he's tricking you, and he's got like smacking R2 with a stick and stuff like that, and he's like, oh, he's like, because he's playing a little character to test Luke, right? But then I think they confused that when they did Luke in like the third movie, and it's like, oh, Luke can just be crazy as well, and, and that can be like, that'll be amusing drinking his blue milk and stuff like that. And it's like, no, that just looks terrible. And it wasn't like he was play acting crazy. He was just crazy. Straight up. Yeah. <laughs> um, Gone what his name is. Darth Maul. Grievous. No, no, he's not in any of the films. That's the, he's a reference in Darth the films. Darth Revan. No, uh, uh, who trained Sidious? Plagueis. Yes, Plagueis the Wise. There you go. I like the book to do with him. I like any. F I, I just like his whole thing. Quite bad that I forgot my favourite character's name. But oh. <laughs> he's. Um, Not really in it. No. In it. Yeah. But you never know. Maybe the Disney will bring something else out to make some money they seem to do with everything else. <laughs> I do like. In, in, if I'm picking one from the film, though, it's got. It's got to be Chewy. I'm just. Just like Chewbacca. Yeah, he's not really done anything wrong over the years. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah. Apart from okay. when he tried to eat people in that solo movie. Yeah, in the solo, yeah. It was filled with dreadful moments as well, that. Yeah, I, w I wasn't a big fan of, uh, <laughs> of Solo, to be honest. Out of all of them. It had potential, but... Uh, yeah. yeah. But, like, same as you, number eight was definitely my least favourite. <laughs> yeah. I sort of wish we could go back and, and someone could go, yeah, we should have done this differently, but mm. it is what it is, so. We'll move on to question two. For question two, do you prefer PlayStation or Xbox? I haven't had a PlayStation since PlayStation 2, and I always found with the PlayStation that the controller is a hideous nightmare because it was... It wasn't designed to have those thumbsticks on it. The thumbsticks came because the N64 came out and that had a thumbstick on it. Sony had already brought out the PlayStation thing and they went, oh, thumbsticks, what a great idea. They'd make play 3D games easier. And so they quickly uh, copied Nintendo and shoved them on there, but they just, it, they never designed it to be comfortable and played right. They were just shoved on there because it was the easiest thing to do with the controller and add them to it. So I've never liked that controller. I've always found that controller just horrible to use. I've always um, quite liked the thumbsticks. Hmm? <laughs> I've always quite liked the thumbsticks, just how I like close. But yeah. it's just my opinion, isn't it? Wait, no, I mean, it's... Before you tell us your, mm -hmm. your overall opinion, I, I have both, but I'm Xbox. Your and place, PlayStation. Devon's PlayStation. Uh, Xbox is the one I play most. Yeah. So I'm Xbox, Devon's PlayStation. Well, you there's, there's some stuff. good exclusives on PlayStation. Um, God of War series, Spider-Man. But... Spider-Man um, was good. I think <laughs> sort of... I'd originally got an Xbox 360 is when I switched from PlayStation to Xbox because of Dead Rising, which ultimately is what killed... My Xbox 360 as well because there were so many polygons on the screen at one time that was sort of red ringing them all and they're all exploding I think I bought about three my Xbox 360s and they all sort of periodically blew up and exploded and broke <laughs> and things like that it's not good and that I mean that, that was the dreadfully crud thing about Microsoft was um it just seemed to be oh it was just like it's like I soldered it together myself or something in a factory. I mean, if you look at like Sony and uh, Nintendo and things like that, their consoles never broke, you know. Mm. There's like, I've got Nintendos from like the 80s and stuff like that, they still run brilliantly. Japanese companies, quality made um, products and things like that. Whereas the, the Microsoft early ones were just very, very shoddy and things like that. However, of course, there would be no PlayStation if it wasn't for Nintendo. 
anyway, because originally the PlayStation was supposed to be the SNES CD um, and Sony developed it and then Nintendo sort of uh, used Philips instead and did this Philips CDI machine that was dreadful, but it had a Zelda game on it that was also dreadful. Um, and Sony had come so far with doing the development of the PlayStation, they brought it out. Anyway, anyway I've got um, Xboxes and stuff now. But I don't have a lot of time to play in them anymore anyway, so I've been playing Cold War a bit, but other than that. Mm. Who, yeah. I've got a big question for mm-hmm. you. And you have to be totally honest. Honest. Or well, biased. I don't, because I never, uh, what's it called, swore on a Bible at the beginning of this. <laughs> and if I need to, I will take the fifth. I know my rights. Go on. So. Uh, who is better? Mm-hmm. But Me. On, on the game, no, you're not. In the game, in, uh, in the gaming world. Yeah. You or Mr. Valiant? Um, well, I gamer? have that statistically um, correct because me and Mr. Tomlin and Mr. Valiant all play Call of Duty together. I know you and, and Mr. Valiant. On the leaderboard, <laughs> there, um, I have the best KD out of all three of us. So, <laughs> and, um, yeah. You are the winner. Yeah. So. We we are planning to the have stats. Mr. Valiant after after Easter, so we'll uh, I'll ask the him the same. The stats speak for themselves, although Mr. Tomlin um, tends to do better when all three of us play at the same time. Oh uh, right, okay. <laughs> he's got uh, younger people's reactions than uh, myself or Mr. Valiant, so <laughs> yeah, it's probably Mr. Tomlin is probably a better player overall. My stats are skewed because my son plays on my account, so they're not all my kills. <laughs> Oh, yeah. so, so you're the best player, but your son is actually the best player. Yeah, I would say yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, You know, the figures are there, so that's all that counts. That is what counts. The stats don't lie. No. Nope. Except, except this time. But, uh, <laughs> For question three, what is your greatest personal achievement? I find this to be tough. I don't questions. know, because if it's a personal achievement, then mm. it's something you've got to have done yourself, isn't it? So, yeah. I don't know. And then you don't want to sound just like you're bragging about stuff. I ran a couple of marathons, jump out of a plane. <laughs> yeah, various things and stuff. Um, I don't know. True. I don't know. I don't <laughs> want to start being braggy about stuff and things like that. So, yeah, something like that. Something like that, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Question four. Mm-hmm. If you could time travel to anywhere, where would you go? Do you know, I wouldn't want to go anywhere where it wasn't comfortable. You know, if you go like to like, oh, go back to Victorian times and stuff like that, Ooh. when what, they don't have like proper toilets and things and, mm. you know, sanitation <laughs> is really dreadful or you go back to the dinosaur times and you're, you're going on your wits and all the rest of it. I mean, although it'd be nice to see dinosaurs, I know, I'd probably go back to the 60s or something, maybe watch the Beatles live, something like that. That's a different one to what we've. Uh, if I could go anywhere in time, I think I'd just go far into the future to see how much like oh, yeah, humans future. have developed. Yeah, yeah, you never know. I mean, see if, if you all think... the ice caps have melted yet. <laughs> that was random. Um, if you think how far we've come in a, in X amount of years, I mean, like when I was at school, no one was going to be a web designer because that wasn't a thing. Mm. You know what I mean? No one had a smartphone or anything else so like you guys you're probably going to end up doing careers that maybe don't even exist yet yeah that's a never thought of it like yeah, that actually I did. that's quite <laughs> it, a... could, it could be you know <laughs> i'm a spider robot engineer that you know we're using to take over capital japan. cities and destroy everybody i don't Who know knows? japan <laughs> you could be you could be part of the uh elite squad what's that the uh, La Resistance and uh, be fighting <laughs> back against the robots that are trying to kill us all. Who knows? Mm, you could be anything, well. yeah. You could be anything at all. If, toilet cleaner. There we go. That's Devon's dream gel, the toilet cleaner. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> if we were imagining that we could time travel somewhere, but we could come back. Yes. Then I would say, there's a couple of places, but I would like to see the Tudors. I'd right. be interested in how it actually all was because we read it from history books but mm-hmm. i'd be interested to see what it's like in being, the middle of it yeah being there it. it's pretty smelly that's <laughs> what i think of all a lot of old history and stuff like that i imagine it smells i think i remember going around the Jorvik viking center when i was a kid and that really smelled and i thought that's what history is like it smells a lot probably. it smells <laughs> um yeah i suppose it is different whether you you end up stuck back in time or whether you just go back and forth, in which case, just go back a bit 
make bets and stuff like uh, Do you know gonna win? from uh, Back to the Future, make a load of money and things like that. Invest <laughs> in Apple or Microsoft in the 80s and things like that and make a load of money. That's worth doing. If it was to be stuck back in time, because I've watched Stranger Things and f- stuff, I'd like to see what that kind of 80s... Yeah, 80s. Kind of, right. Oh, what a, what a time. Decadent <laughs> era, right? Oh. If you had to get Everyone was in present gear and uh, big her. I mean, I'm bringing that back, but mostly because of lockdown. Um, yeah, what a fun time. Arcades. Okay, oh. yeah, that is that is actually one thing I would say I'd like to. Yeah. To go to. Yeah, you know. Proper if arcades. You could, though. If you could choose to go somewhere and get stuck, but you could put yourself anywhere in the world, I think I'd go way back to the dinosaurs. And Joe, like the really tall vegetarian, the herbivore, uh-huh. I think I just place myself on its back and see how long I can just hold on. The really oh. tall vegetarian. So, like, <laughs> you're saying you can go back in time to a very specific space as well, so it's like yeah, on the ride a dinosaur <laughs> on his back, <laughs> on a chair or something like that. Okay, I, I, I That's can't more go more specific. Mm. The, que- the question that you do not know. Mm-hmm. You have no preparation for? I, I didn't know preparation anyway. I, I pretty much run my <laughs> life like that. It's good. Wing it. Yeah. <laughs> so, can you just confirm for us? Mm-hmm. Uh, me nor Devon did tell you this before you came on the show. You you uh, could have done, and it still wouldn't have mattered because you <laughs> told me all the questions and I didn't read them either. Oh, right. But no, you, I'm sure you didn't. The fifth question, mm-hmm. which we did not tell you. Yes. <laughs> Just want to get that out there. Which cartoon character uh-huh. would you say best defines you? <gasps> Cinderella. <laughs> I started going through various ones then and things like that. Um... <laughs> I don't know. When I was younger, on CBBS, don't laugh, uh-huh. there'd be a cartoon thing called Bottle Top Bill and his best friend Corky. Do you oh, used yeah, to I watch them, that. like, do you know, what was the thing last episode with Miss Jones that nobody knew what you were going on about? Oh, the same thing. Bottom Moon. Come I remember moon. Bottle Top <laughs> Bill and his best friend Corky. It's sort <laughs> of like... Um, they just make stuff out of rubbish It's that, like, yeah, it's like made out of actual rubbish. It's sort of part... Um, stop motion is sort of almost yeah. animation where they, they sort of use actual pictures and stuff of I like it, how it's like things. they mm. actually use rubbish so it seems more creative yeah. I like to think of that, creative. that was the whole point <laughs> of it. It, was, it was like upcycling or something of that nature so you want to be bald top Bill yeah not Corky the dog <laughs> not Corky the dog I like, I like Rigby from regular show I loved the regular show when I was I, I, could, I could say <laughs> yeah. Rigby Never that probably it. sums me up quite well. Rigby. <laughs> Rigby from the regular show. Yeah. Hmm. Never actually seen that. It's I great, feel like it's a great show. And it's all eighties as well, actually. Very eighties. Yeah. It's probably all eighties like, all the way hmm. through it. Quite a hard one for me, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. I feel like if I had to say like for me and you, we'd be SpongeBob and Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> You'd definitely be Patrick. <laughs> That's rude. Well, there you go. <laughs> but That's an attack. <laughs> uh, cartoon character best defines me we're going to be here all day if we're thinking about mine well I'll come up with my question for you guys which I think I had to do and I barely thought about it but um, as I was thinking before um, when this is all over hopefully and you can travel again where would you like to go if you could go anywhere and it all be back open again, not like, mm, next oh, door. you can't go out because <laughs> it's Wednesday or all the other rules are in place and so on. Where would you like to go? Okay, so mine's pretty <laughs> basic, mm-hmm. right? I just really don't say Spain. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm very shocked you remember that. <laughs> I'm very shocked you remembered that. That was very good. Go on. Um, no, very basic is the cinema. Oh, wow. I've missed the cinema so much. So you can go anywhere. anywhere. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere. The cinema. You want to go to the cinema? I really okay. want to go to the cinema. Fair enough. I miss the cinema so much. <laughs> well, any particular country or just down the road at Cine World or something like that? <laughs> Place you'd like to be? Oh, I've got quite a few. I miss going on holiday as well, actually. Mm. Well, that was it. Like, what I mean, like, <laughs> dream destination, maybe. So mine would like, be... Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> I'd like to go see the Cliffs of Dover. <laughs> don't like mess the <laughs> Easter Island. Yeah. The Stonehenge. Niagara Falls. There's a lot of rock in all the first three ones, isn't yeah, there? What's your big thing Cliffs, like rocks? <laughs> Easter Island, rocks, heads, and then... Stonehenge, rocks. I don't think you're actually allowed to go near Stonehenge either. No, I've I think been there's a great big fence around it and you have to stay like 200 meters away or something like when that. When I went to Stonehenge, there was like a, we were there and we saw it, but then there was like a, a huge rope, right? And mm -hmm. you couldn't go anywhere near the Beyond stones. Beyond it. You just locked, looked at the stones. Yeah, so that's <laughs> pretty much it. Yeah, I, I don't think you're allowed to go anywhere near them. What no. was your other one? Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls, very nice. I would like to go there. Because yeah. it has a little um, platform, doesn't it, where the water splashes and just... I think, what's it called as well? Ponchos. I think a certain number of people go over the falls every year for Anne various Frank things. Anne Frank did didn't she? Was yeah, it Anne Frank? Anne Frank. Uh, no, not Anne Frank. That was the... I thought it was the girl in the Holocaust that hid in the <laughs> cupboard. <laughs> um, and something Taylor. And ta no. <laughs> Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> no, not her. She didn't go over it. Uh, oh, Annie Edison Taylor. She went over the, the Niagara Falls in a barrel. She was the first person to I do it. I Edison is from Community. She was the first one to survive the falls, wasn't she? <laughs> is, is it Community? No, the, yeah, no I haven't. Show. I haven't, but that's the show, show that... She's, Annie Edison is on that. That's the show that you were reference. talking about on... Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a great show. Um, someone went over Niagara Falls as well. There was a guy, he was like a tightrope walker, and he went over Niagara Falls with his manager on his back, he stopped halfway across, made a fried breakfast, fed his manager, and then carried on walking to the other side again. What a legend. <laughs> Where was his oven? Mm. <laughs> How did he make the breakfast? I think it was like on like a um, stove. Like, like a little mini stove thing with a frying pan and whatever. Just did some eggs and bacon or whatever. And then... But it did it then. Imagine if he fell. That would have gone cold well quick of like freezing water. <laughs> well, Do you think yeah. he would have been fired by his boss if he fell? <laughs> by his I don't think <laughs> what on the way down. That would probably be the first of his problems, really. Well, all the screaming at him. managers or anything, really. <laughs> well, the guy's like, oh, I'm going to die. Oh, by the way, you're fired. <laughs> you I hope sucked. you know that. <laughs> yeah. um, um, no, the cinema, and I'd like to go on holiday. Am I to? To Barbados. That's where I go as well. Oh, I don't know. Just not England, <laughs> to be totally honest. Um, I really want to go, right? So really, mm -hmm. to the zoo. Sorry, Disney. I want to go to Disney. I've been to Disney. I want to go to the other Disney in California. Mm -hmm. I went in Florida. The Florida one's better. Is it? It's bigger. France. Yeah. That Disney World. The one. They don't have a Star Wars land in France. Oh. They don't oh, have Galaxy's <laughs> Edge. No, I, I really want to go to China. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I, I really love like Chinese culture. To be honest, I oh, I go to the chippy as well. You go to. The... So you want to go to the east open now? Yeah, you want to go uh, Easter yeah, Island? You can go to the chippy tonight if you wanted to. They're all open. <laughs> I'll oh <laughs> Statue could... of Liberty and go like the Crown. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm done. <laughs> There's a list. Uh, Devin, Devin's got loads of places. Mine is the cinema. And, <laughs> and China. <laughs> and then Mackey's. And I'm, oh, I like a Mackey's. Um, nah, don't like them that much. You don't like Mackey's? I had one recently and it didn't. Do you like KFC? It wasn't, no. Right, we're going into fast food now. <laughs> Time? Yeah. You, you want to do a spin? Uh, no, <laughs> Mr. Valiant's asking for me there. Right. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, gentlemen. It's been lovely speaking to you. <laughs> And uh, I'd like to go Home. back to work, seemingly. Oh, so you would? Yeah, well, <laughs> it's where I am going. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks very much, boys. Nice That's talking to you. Thank you for coming on. No worries. We'll, uh, for, he's already got. He's <laughs> left the building. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. That's Cripps has left. <laughs> That's the first time <laughs> so he's done the outro <laughs> and walked out on us. <laughs> that was incredible. Mr. Cripps has just said his outro for <laughs> us. And just walked out. That was that was amazing. I love that. <laughs> Bye. So well, that's it from us. Yeah. That Goodbye. Was, that was the greatest ending of all time. And we'll see you next time with Mr. Smith. And Devon's left too. <laughs> Everybody's just leaving me. I'm going. <laughs> but <Bye. laughs> Bye.